everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Mimi and this is Adorning Spaces. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I decorated two powder rooms in my home. One is right here and the other one is upstairs and it's linked to the master bathroom. If you are interested in videos that involve decor, decluttering, DIY, this is the channel for you to subscribe to. So hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at Ms. Mimosa. And without further ado, let's get right into it. As expected, there are a few basic things that any powder room should have. You know, the usuals. Tissue paper, a soap pump, a trash can, and a hand towel. I decided to include paper towels for those who prefer them. And now let's get into the decor. Oh, and one quick thing. In this video, I will be referring to the toilet as the water closet. I don't know. I just don't like saying the word toilet. This powder room is really, really small and lacks any kind of shelving or storage cabinets. So to solve this issue, I purchased this three shelf space saver. If you really don't want to go through the trouble of installing shelves or cabinets, this is a great alternative. A quick tip for you, if you're in a similar situation and looking to decorate a small powder room like this one, the best way to maximize space is to decorate up, or in other words, utilize the space above the water closet. For my accessories, I chose light colored items to contrast with the walls and the shelves. They were also minimal because I wanted to be careful not to clutter the space saver with too much stuff. Tip number two, keep things off the ground as much as possible. Notice I have the tissue in a basket on the shelf instead of using one of these. I'm sure it comes as no surprise to anyone that I have plants in this powder room. As a matter of fact, I have three plants in this restroom. Two on the shelves and one on the sink. Yep, plants make me very, very happy. So this is actually a flower vase that I use as a candle holder. The reason is because when the candle is lit, the light casts a beautiful warm glow on the walls. I love abstract art and I fell in love with this painting at the store. The gold accents in this painting complement the gold frame of this picture. The wooden art piece not only matches the color of the other items on the shelf, it's also a reminder for me to remain thankful. So one quick tip for you, particularly if you don't like the color of your walls, I mean, I really do like these gray walls, but if for some reason you don't like the color of your walls or you're renting and you wanna do something really fancy and fun, but you also really want your safety deposit back, one of the things you could do is actually use contact paper. So I have quite a bit of contact paper and wallpaper at the moment because of a few DIY projects that I'll be working on and can't wait to share with you guys. The main differences between this restroom and the one downstairs is that since this one is connected to the master bathroom, there is no mirror or sink opposite the water closet. It's just a plain wall. This restroom also has a window while the one downstairs does not. Thank you. 
I really like these floating shelves because they're deep enough for you to place certain sized items in them and the raised edges also keep those items from falling off. Like the decor downstairs, I went with a very simple minimalistic decor style. My decor style is a combination of contemporary and Scandinavian design. I included this geometric heart-shaped art piece and of course, my plant. So what exactly is Scandinavian design? Well, Scandinavian design is a design movement that is characterized by simplicity, minimalism, and functionality that emerged in the early 20th century. And I'm sure you've noticed these elements even in the powder room downstairs and in the way I decorated my nursery. Speaking of nurseries, if you haven't watched my How to Decorate a Gender Neutral Nursery video yet, please make sure you check that out. And if you've learned anything new in this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Since there aren't any mirrors, I decided to place a couple of small round mirrors on the walls for their style and function. And my words of encouragement in this restroom came in the form of a decal. And here's a question for you guys. Which of the two powder rooms do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you share it with your friends and your family and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye-bye.